for months, we have known that Android 14 blocks the installation of really old apps and games. By really old, I mean apps that were built back in 2015 or earlier. This was the year that Google released Android 6.0, which brought the API level of the operating system to 23. So if you have Android 14 installed on your smartphone or tablet, and you have a really old app or game that targets API level 23 or earlier, then you will receive an error message when you try to sideload it. These apps are not available via the Google Play Store and have to be downloaded from an application repository. Google says these limitations were needed in Android 14 because the really old apps sometimes have the ability to break new features and bypass new security protections. But the company understands that sometimes we just really need to use an old application that hasn't been updated yet. So as a way to help, they have added an ADB command that can bypass these limitations. For this to work, you first need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. These are also known as platform tools, and they can be downloaded directly from Google. Or, you can install a program like ADB and Fastboot++ from XDA, previously known as Tiny ADB and Fastboot Tools. I generally recommend the latter, as it also provides you with a desktop shortcut that will open up a command prompt within the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot files. Either way, I will have links to both options down in the video description below. Once extracted or installed on your PC, you will then need to enable developer mode on your smartphone or tablet that's running Android 14. After developer mode has been enabled, then you will need to toggle the USB debugging mode feature from within the newly revealed developer options menu. These steps are required in order for you to install the APK file from your PC onto your smartphone or tablet. And if you're not familiar with how to do either of these, then again, I recommend looking down in the video description below as I'll have links to dedicated videos that I have already done which show you all of the steps involved. After that has been done, the next thing that you will need to do is move or copy the APK file of that old application or game into the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. This will be a folder on your computer where the ADB.exe and Fastboot.exe files are located in. And with the APK file placed in the folder, you then need to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window from within that same folder. As long as your phone can properly communicate with the PC, then we just need to type out the following command. ADB space install space dash dash bypass dash low dash target dash SDK dash block space and then the file name of the APK file that you're trying to sideload. So if you were wanting to install the Flappy Bird game, then we would need to replace that file name dot APK part of the command with flappybird.apk or whatever the name of your flappybird apk file is. 
the file name dot apk part of this command needs to match the exact name of the file that you're wanting to install. This is the only way that you can install really old apps or games on an Android 14 device due to the limitations that have been added to this big update. If you have any trouble with any of the steps outlined in today's video, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I can't promise that I'll be able to answer every question here, but I will certainly do my best to reply to everyone and help you figure out how to fix any issues that you have come across.